What's up guys, Vstanko6 with the Durance Elite Patilla. Today we're going to talk about depth charges. Now in this video, this is a sister video to the evasion video I just put out. Now we're just doing an example at the Naval Academy. <clears throat> this little circle compass here is going to be my U-boat with the arrow being the bow. And this little X mark is going to be one of the many escorts. Okay, so now here's my assumption. You're underwater, you've been detected. What do I mean by detected? You've been hit, getting hit with the sonar pings from the ASDIC from your escorts. And your sonar man's telling you you're being pinged and you're actively being depth charged. So what do you do? What is what? What do we do in a situation like this? Now, first of all, I want to just see if I can give a little disclaimer. Again, this is my way of doing things. This is not the right way or the only way. Um, for those of you who are looking for a video showing me being, getting depth charged, this is a lecture video. I'm not doing that. If you want to watch U-boats getting depth charged, okay, there's tons of videos out there for YouTube. I'm just giving you the explanation on what you should do in my terms, in, in my idea, uh, what you should be doing during a depth charge attack. <clears throat> so, excuse me, let's get right to it. All right. So, here's my U-boat. I'm, you know, whatever, sit, you know, 80 meters under the water, all right. Let's talk about ASDIC. What is ASDIC? ASDIC is a device that the British use. It's that pinging noise that you hear in the movies in Silent Hunter 3. It sends out a high frequency pitch into the water uh, at a direction. Uh, think of it as a hydrophone where they point it in a direction and they send um, a signal going this way, then they'll turn it and it'll go this way, and then, oh, there's something bouncing back. They send a signal out which hits your U-boat. Here, let's Let's do a little something interesting here. Let's say this is the wave. Oh, they send a signal out. Now remember, it's directional. So it's hitting and all of a sudden it hits my U-boat and then it comes back. Okay. It goes out, hits the U-boat, and comes back. Again, they have to point in the direction of your U-boat. So they're actually searching. So if they go this way, they're not going to see you. That way, no. That way, no. But if that little arrow hits your U-boat, all right, the direction that they shoot the uh, high frequency sound wave at and it comes back, it gives them a a sound, okay? It gives them a sound. It gives it gives them a picture of where you're at. All right. Now, in Silent Hunter Three, it's not modeled, but there is no thermal layers that can protect you. But depth and distance does protect you. Also, your profile. If you remember from my evasion video, distance, profile, and sound will help you in the end. So. When your, your escort is pinging you, he cannot hear you. He's sending a signal to see you, all right? So he's technically deaf. He's just looking for that visual image that I just showed you coming back into a computer screen. When he does that and he finds you, this is what they're generally doing. Let me get my pencil out. They're going to try and come around. If you can see this, let me try to scooch forward. All right, these are little marks of him going from point one all the way up to six. What they want to do is get behind you. This is my U-boat going north. What they want to do is they want to position themselves behind you, and then they, what they want to do is they want to drop four depth charges. These depth charges are preset. They're set to a depth that they determine that you're at. They're not trying to hit you with the depth charges. They're trying to make the depth charges explode around you, okay? So... Uh, it'll cause the maximum amount of damage, causing you to either A, pop up to the surface where they can dispatch you from the surface, or B, they can send you to the bottom forever. Okay, that's their objective. So let's just get rid of these little marks here. All right, so our, our, our escort is coming up in a circle pattern, and he's coming up and he wants to go along your route. That's what he's doing with Aztec. He's listening, he's determining where you're at, and how do you know that you're actually being pinged? Well, one, your sonar operator will say down here, hey, we're being pinged, sir. But that doesn't mean he knows exactly where you're at. Again, depending on your distance, your profile, and um, your depth, all right? He may, he may see you, but he may think you're actually further away or closer than you really are. I, I've had it many times where they drop, they drop depth charges, but they're nowhere near me, Okay. So, what do we what do we do? We we we've got this guy here. What do we do? He's coming up behind you, and he's about to um, do a strafe. Well, one, this is going to become your best friend, uh, your sonar man. Okay, your reports. First thing I do is I hit to see where the nearest guy is. All right, where is he coming from? 
Uh, Captain, he's at um, 135 degrees. I know from experience, 135 is right about over here from the stern starboard side. And he's closing. So he's going in this general direction. Let's let's get some marks here. He, he What he's going to do is he's going to try and strafe over. And he wants to drop his depth charges right over us as we go. So what do you want to do? Now, if you remember from my evasion video, I have that little three kilometer ring and it's pointing in a direction that I want to eventually go. I don't want to make drastic turns to the left or to the right because then you'll never get out of the circle. The crime scene, as I labeled it in the last video. So what I want to do is I want to make small corrections. So if I know he's coming from 135 degrees and he's going to cross over me this way, what I want to do is I want to turn my U-boat into a direction away. Okay. Now, if he's pinging you, understand that he, he knows where you're at. You're not hiding from him. You're just sitting there. The next thing I'll do is, usually I'm at, I'm at 50 RPMs to be slow. If he's pinging me, I'm going to um, switch slow speed to get my boat going. I'm going to start the turn. All right, I'm not going to go too fast. I'm just going to go ahead and get that slow turn. And then you know when he's about to depth charge you because you're going to hear all the pings. They're going to get louder and faster and faster. And then just before, just before he drops them, the pinging stops. And you're going to hear him overhead. If you have headphones, this is a perfect time to use headphones as during this game. It becomes a stereo sound. You actually know what direction the ship is coming from. You don't even need the sonar operator. But you're going to hear him ping, 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 ping and stop. And then all of a sudden you're going to hear the splashes. That's when I go flank speed and I change my depth. Why am I changing depth? Why am I going flank speed? To get out of the way of the depth charges. Because he has set them already to a certain depth. And he has, um, um, he's already crossed over me. So by flank speeding it, I'm getting away from the explosions. Now let's talk about depth. In my last video, I do not like to go to max depth right away. I'll go anywhere from 80 to 100 meters to start. And if he's dropping depth charges, I will usually go in increments of 40 to 50 meters at a pop. Why? 20 meters is not going to get you away from a blast. 40 or 50 is going to get you just enough away from the blast and change your depth and confuse him at the same time. All right. Um, in my last video, I talked about profile. In this situation, if he's close enough to detect you, your profile is pretty much gone. And if you have two escorts, you're, you're not going to be able to hide your profile. So don't worry about profile. Um, but my objective is to get away from the depth charges but get out of the circle. So if my original three-kilometer circle is pointing north, let's just do one here. Let's, let's pretend this is a three kilometer circle. If my original circle is north, I don't want to be going like this. I don't want to be changing directions drastically. I know you can knuckle left, you can knuckle right, you can go all the way to a U turn, but you're not getting out of that circle. And eventually, he's going to find you. So, what you want to do, let me clear up this, let me clear this up a little bit, get rid of this stuff here. So, let's just be clear what you want to do is you want to keep a forward motion, get yourself out of the way of the depth charges. Now, the depth charges have popped off. You hear them exploding. You want to keep going flank speed. You want to keep going in the direction you are going, so in this case, this way, until you get to that fourth explosion. It's usually four depth charges, okay? After that fourth explosion, that's when I go back to my 50 RPMs to be silent again. Okay, again, I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing he's not going to hear me again, but I'm trying to get out of the area. When they're, when they're dropping depth charges and they explode, the escort has no idea where you're at. He is deaf. Okay, he's deaf. So he can't hear you. That's why you want to keep your speed up and get out of dodge, as I mentioned in my other video. Okay, so that's generally the idea behind depth charging. You want to get out of the area. You want to wait for the perfect time. You don't want to be going flank speed right away. One, you're not going to outrun these guys. These guys are going 20 knots. You're going 7 at max. Okay? So I wait until the last minute to go flank speed, turn my boat, uh, change my depth, and then do it all again. I don't want to turn too drastically unless I have, like, many escorts and I have, you know, I'm, I'm in a dire straits. So let's talk about two escorts. Let's talk about two escorts. You got one, two, let's talk about three. It doesn't matter. So what's going on here? You got three escorts. So pro profile is definitely out of the picture. You're surrounded. 
all right? Nothing you can do that'll change your profile. What is going on with these escorts? All right, well, one escort, let's just say this guy, he is going to do the ASDIC. He's going to send the pings down into the water. What he's doing is he's going to paint the picture for the other two escorts. Now, the thing is, and this is modeled pretty correctly, is that only one escort can charge you at a time. They may make separate runs at one time, but they're not, you're not going to see them go at the same time and hit each other. They don't, they're not going to bounce into each other's hulls. So one will go and then the other, while this guy sits there and he's listening to you. All right, or he's sending the, the waves to you. While he's sending the waves, here, let's just do our little wave sound here. Bing, he hits you. These two guys are listening. So if you start flank speeding or making drastic um, maneuvers, guess what? They're going to hear it. You're, you're in all kinds of bad situation here. All right, in a situation like this, I'm usually down deep. I, I, I'm, I'm where the crew is starting to get a little nervous. Um, because you're in a bad spot, all right? Um, so I hope this gives you an idea of what these escorts are doing. Uh, this wasn't a very immersive video, but just understand, in the first video evasion I gave you, the idea is to get away from the crime scene. If you're still stuck around the surface, playing around, looking for torpedo hits, you're going to be in a bad situation, and you want to get away from the crime scene as soon as possible. Um, you want to watch your profile until all these guys get here. here. Before these two guys get here, it's usually just one guy, all right? And he has a little zone that he's looking for, he's searching for, all right? And if he's coming, let's say this way, I just want to add this from the evasion video. If he's heading this way, okay, I want my profile to be as small as possible. I want my bow of my ship away from him. I want the stern showing to him because if, if I don't get away from him at that moment and my profile is exposed, these other guys are going to come in and they're going to know where I'm at. And that's why it's important when you're, when you throw those eels out there that you get out of Dodge as soon as possible. Otherwise you're going to have a party that you don't want. All right. I hope that this depth charge tutorial helps you. It gives you an idea what's going on on the surface. Um, Again, you know, get your distance, wait for the right moment to speed up, turn your boat, but don't turn so crazy that you're not getting out of the crime scene, okay? Um, make sure you're paying attention to your sonar operator. Use those reports. They're going to tell you where these guys are at at that moment. When you hit this button, uh, I should also add, he's only going to tell you the closest person. He's not going to tell you where everybody's at. He's only going to tell you where the closest person escort is at that moment and that's the most important guy so if this guy's coming at you and he's the closest i want to know where he's at is he coming straight up from behind to do another depth charge run okay good then i know i have to turn my boat at some point to get away from his depth charges 